Hi, and welcome to this week's lesson of Evolve. This week, I'm going to be talking about um, just your email, your automated email uh, sequence. So what we've done here is we put together four emails that you can use um, over the next four months or the next, uh, you know, once a quarter, whatever you want to do. But these emails were created uh, to be just for your general, um, you know, email leads. So anytime that you say go into a, uh, a complex and you get a property manager's email address or a regional vice president's email address, you know, you would put that into your email marketing system. Um, and then that way they're on your list. And at that point, they're just in their general information list, right? Um, because they're kind of, you've just gotten the information. You're not, you necessarily haven't moved to the next phase of getting an in-person meeting uh, or, you know, a, a telephone uh, conversation where you can quote pricing, anything like that. So this is really just your soft selling stages. Uh, and you're creating a funnel, uh, you know, that they're just kind of getting into and so that they can stay top of mind. So we created four of these so that you could use these, um, you know, once per quarter if you want to take these verbatim or just to kind of give you an idea of what um, just a general email sequence would look like uh, that you can set up as an automated system. So in, in any email campaign system you use, um, you know, whether it be MailChimp, uh, which we recommend because it's the first uh, 2,000 emails are free, uh, or Aweber, which we've used before, and, you know, Drip and some other uh, um, campaign managers like that, you can actually create a email sequence that when an email is added to your list, uh, it will automatically send the first email and then you can schedule another email to send say 30 days later and then you can send another email to, to send 30 days after that you know second email and so forth uh, so you can really have a, um, a tier or a, a you know a one month touch basis where you've totally now just automated your email sequences that once someone gets on your list you don't even really have to necessarily uh, reach out to them manually and stay top of mind. They're at least getting your email once a month um, just to, you know, like I said, stay top of mind. So um, in this first uh, email up top, we're just trying to think of something uh, that the email subject line would be bolded. And like I said, you can, you can use, you can read these and see if it's something that will work for you. You can reword them. Uh, you can use them as ideas of what to do. But what we did is we took essentially uh, a general topic of what, you know, the Valley Trash um, service is kind of about or what some of the hot buttons might be, and you just create a small email around it, just once again, to stay top of mind, so if they get it, they can read it and say, oh, all right, that works for me, maybe I should reach out and call now. Uh, so for this one, uh, Trash Valet Service, the magic amenity. So it just pretty much goes through, you know, the amount that uh, Valley Trash is one of the only amenities that makes you money, unlike the pool that costs you money, or the tennis courts cost you money, clubhouse costs you money. Uh, Valley Trash is really there to, um, you know, bring in, uh, revenue for your or for their complex um, and just a couple other you know issues that it it uh, you know raises uh, not having to go outside and inclement weather if you're you know the person that lives there or even having an option of uh, recycling where they can just set the recycling out and you'll take care of it down at the bins uh, that are on site as well and then it just kind of we put a call a small call to action in there uh, you know, when you're ready to discuss Valley Trash Amenity as it applies to your specific needs, please give us a call. We can show you how to add a bottom line, uh, add to your bottom line without adding to your budget. You know, so what's important is at the very end, there's always that small call to action of saying, you know, hey, reach out to us, call us if you're interested and ready. Um, and then we'll go from there. So really, this would be the first email that we would send out. And then, uh, you know, like it, it brings just uh, notoriety to you that you you've kind of reached out with on an automated platform where you don't have to because you've set these up in your email campaign manager. And then uh, 30 days later, you know, the second one will go out, residents today want recycling, do you offer it? So we've already hit on, you know, an overview of what the, you know, why it's a magic amenity that brings money and it, you know, makes their life easier and all those things. Now the second email is now hitting another hot button of uh, recycling. So it just kind of goes over, oh, do you have a recycling plan? If not, you know, contact us, we can show you how we can integrate one. Um, while we don't necessarily recommend you taking recycling or trash off site because that just incurs additional permits and things like that that are needed uh, unless it works for your business uh, and your community that you're in. Otherwise, you just reference them to get uh, recycling containers on property that are picked up on a regular you know, basis like the trash would be, but you would still be servicing those um, you know, people that would set the recycling out, boxes out, cans, all that stuff. You still take it down to the recycling bins for them. So. And then that way we kind of, in this one, we were soft pitching that recycling is a big issue with residents, with everyone trying to go green. Uh, and now you can say you're a green property. Um, 
and that will really help you develop a strategic plan, you know, to become, you know, a green community. So now we've already touched on two, right? Like I said, the first one was an overview of, of why it's a magic amenity and it makes you money. The second one is, hey, recycling is offered and, um, you know, we can integrate that pretty easily for you. And, and then that way you can start marketing it. The third one, are, are your maintenance workers overwhelmed? So once again, another hot button, right? Because a lot of times if there are trash issues on a property, uh, who's taking care of it? And if they don't have a valet service, it's going to be the maintenance staff more than likely. You know, they'll have to go up and do the trash house of the units. They'll have to go up and um, make sure the breezeways are clear. You know, all these things that add up to time when they should be, uh, you know, painting or fixing things. Because if you think about it, a 300 unit complex or even 400, you know, decent sized complexes that are your average uh, are getting a lot of traction. You know, you're probably getting 20 to 40 move outs, move in, move outs monthly. You know, that's them having to go and assess the property, fix the property, paint the property. And that's the maintenance staff that's doing that stuff. While on top of it, taking care of all the other general maintenance issues around the property that, that turn up. So this is just another good hot button to say, hey, we're here to help, you know, your maintenance workers not feel overwhelmed and we can do that for you. So the fourth one that we would send out after that is money is funny. Are you laughing at your bottom line? So once again, we're touching now base uh, back on um, the fact that we can have an amenity that brings you money, right? So... Uh, you know, would your owner be overjoyed with an additional 54000 per year on their bottom line? You know, right away, it's an attention getter. You're kind of putting a, you know, a large scale number up there of saying, hey, if you're a decent sized complex, you can actually, um, you, know, you can actually do that. So, uh, you know, so really, we're setting ourselves up that you can take these emails word for word if you want, or you can create your own based off of them. And you can actually put them once again in your email. So uh, in MailChimp, in MailChimp, you would just go in and you would do a scheduling out of emails uh, under a certain list. And then, like I said, you can create and send those emails automatically once an email is put on it. So, uh, you know, that way, if you go to a trade show or if you do anything where you can collect a large amount, you know, and one day you stop at 10 properties, you could put all of those in um, and it would the next day start populating your emails and they would be on your, your email chain. And then from there, now you're not having to reach out to when you stop at, you know, 100, 200, 300 units uh, or excuse me, properties. And you're getting all of these, uh, you know, email addresses. You're not necessarily having to reach out manually or or remember that. And you can focus now more that you've got a a soft sales cycle funnel in place that's keeping you top of mind. So next time when you stop in six months down the road, they can be like, oh yeah, I'm I'm still on your email list. I get it. I find it, you know, enjoyable because you write a lot of stuff. You touch on the trash issues or the maintenance guys having to do it. Or you know, you're right. My owner would like more more of bottom line would be great. So. Uh, go ahead and use this uh, email list or the um, this chain of emails, four emails, however you want, um, and integrate it into your business. Have a great one.